Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today, my topic for presentation is Harley Davidson Motorcycle Company. So, let me start with the structure of our presentation. In presentation, I will uh, start with a brief description for the company, and then we will talk about the magnificent and long history which this company has. It's really a good thing to listen. And third, we will dis uh, discuss about the different type of engines which this company has made. Then. Uh, Fourthly, we will discuss about the different type of model families which its motorcycle has been constituted into and uh, then we will discuss about some environmental record of this company and then the brand culture of this company. So let us start with a brief brief description of this company. Firstly, uh, it is a public company and it trades in motorcycles. It, uh, it also known as HOG and it was founded in 1903 exactly 113 years ago. Founders are William S. Harley, Arthur Davidson, Walter Davidson, and William A. Davidson. Its company's headquarters is in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, U.S. And uh, presently it is headed and CEO by Matthew Levitich. Now let us go to the history. And uh, in the firstly, 1901, William S. Harley in the age of 21 completes a blueprint drawing of an engine designed to fit into a bicycle then in 1903 William S. Harley and Arthur Davidson make public uh, make available to the public the first production of Harley Davidson motorcycle the factory in which they worked was a 10 cross 15 foot wooden shed with the words Harley Davidson Motor Company rudely screwed on the wall then in 1906 a new factory Measuring 28 cross 80 feet is built on the Chestnut Street site, later renamed as a Junau Avenue. Uh, then in 1910, the famous Bar and Shield logo, the very famed Bar and Shield logo, is used for the first time. It is traded at the U.S. Patent Office one year one year later. Then in 1914, company enters in the motorcycle racing. Then in 1918, almost half of all the Davidson, Harley Davidson motorcycles produced are sold for use by the US military in World War I. Then in 1922, Harley Davidson uh, riders sweep all the eight national championship races. Then in 1930, graphic design on the Harley Davidson motorcycles and Art Deco Eagle design is painted on all the gas tanks. This stylish design was made in the part to stimulate low sales numbers caused by the Great Depression. Uh, then in 1940s, Army Rider America is plunged into World War II. Uh, production of civilian motorcycle is almost entirely suspended in favor of military production. In 1943, Harley Davidson receives the first of its four Army Navy E Awards for the excellence in the wartime production. In 1950s, Harley Davidson starts a new motorcycle magazine named Enthusiast and also begins a seven year consecutive run of victories at the Daytona 2000 200, sorry, uh, motorcycle competition. Then in 1960, uh, Harley Davidson purchases a half interest in the Aero Nautica Machi, forming Aero Machi Harley Davidson, a European division that will produce small single cylinder motorcycles, whose logo is in the right down of the slide. Proceeding in 1980, Harley Davidson senior executives sign a letter of intent to purchase Harley Davidson Motor Company from AMF. By mid June, the fabric is official and the phrase Eagle Souls Alone becomes the railing cry. In 1982, the materials as needed MAN application is introduced to production. This means that parts and raw materials are purchased and built only as they are required. Then in 1990, a new 217,000 square foot product development center opens next to the Capital Drive plant in Milwaukee. The building is dedicated to Philly G. Davidson. In 1993, Harley Davidson uh, celebrates its 19th anniversary in Milwaukee with a family reunion. A estimated 100,000 people tried and parade of motorcycles. In 1994, Harley Davidson entered into superbike racing. Then in 2000, the 2000 model year software models are outputted with a twin cam 88B engine, a counterbalance version of the twin cam engine. In 2010, a 
Excel 48 is introduced, recalling the raw custom spots of the early days. So, here we spoke uh, much about the history, and I hope you like it. Then, uh, now we had a different type of motorcycle engines, which is completely is made this whole year. So, let's start with the big V twins. Uh, big V twins has many different type of engines and classification in it. Some of them are F head, flat head, kunkel head. Pan head, shovel head, evolution, and twin cam. This, uh, the list which I have uh, told just now was in the increasing order of the technology and the years which in which they have been made. Similarly, now coming to the small bit twins, the classification again I'm going to say is on the based on the technology increasing in the years. First, D model, then R model, W model, G or service car model, K model, KH model, Ironet, and evolution. The third is evol Revolution Engine. The Revolution Engine is based on a WR1000 Superbike Race program co developed by Harley Davidson Powertrain Engineering Team and Porsche Engineering in the Stuttgart, Germany. It is liquid cooled and dual overhead cam, internally counterbalanced 60 degree V twin engine producing 150 horsepower 8 at 250 RPM. Now, uh, fourth, we came to uh, single cylinder engines. It is subclassified into IOE singles, flatted and OHV singles and two stroke singles. Let's uh, throw some light on IOE singles and flatted OHV singles. IOE singles. The first uh, Harley Davidson motorcycles were powered by single cylinder IOE engines with the inlet valve operated by engine vacuum. This type of engines continued to be made until 1913. Uh, then to some, let's discuss something about flatted and OHV. Single cylinder engines were reintroduced in 1945. These were av available as either flatted in engines or overhead valve engines. Thank you. Then uh, now let's discuss something about model families of this company, uh, which models are constituted into. First is touring. Touring models use big twin engines and large diameter telescopic fox all touring desig uh, designations begin with the letters FL example FLHR road king FLTR road glide also known as, and this uh, touring uh, uh, family is also known as dressers and badges uh, secondly soft tail <coughs> this big twin motorcycles capitalize on Harley's uh, strong value on tradition with the rear wheel suspension hidden under the transmission they are visually similar to the head tail choppers populated, popular in 1960s, 1970s. Thirdly, uh, we come to discuss uh, Dyna. Uh, they can be distinguished uh, from soft tail by the traditional coilover suspension that connects the swing arm to the frame and form the spots by their long engines, larger engines. Which brings us to the fourth classification of this family, uh, spot stop. Sportster was introduced in 1957. This Sportster family were conceived as racing motorcycles and were popular on dirt and the flat track race courses <coughs> uh, uh, during uh, 1960s and 1970s. They were smaller and lighter than the other Harley models. Now, let's come to fifth classification. That's its VRSC. Introduced in 2001, the VRSC Nissan family. Uh, is little assembled to Harley's more traditional line, competing against Japanese and American muscle bikes from the public muscle bike power. Uh, the crucial segment, the V-Road Max use of the engine developed jointly with Porsche. Now coming to the last classification, it is Street. It is, it is the latest uh, 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 development of the Harley's company and it is uh, was developed for younger part of the generation. Uh, and this this concentration this classification generally is motorcycles which are lighter weight and cheap now <coughs> in proceeding in our presentation let us discuss something about environmental record of the Harley Davidson company Harley Davidson produced an environmental warranty the warranty ensures each owner that the vehicle is designed and built free of any defects in materials and workmanship that would cause the vehicle to not meet EPA standards in 2005 the EPA and Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection confirmed Harley Davidson to be the first corporation to voluntarily enroll in the one line, uh, one cleanup program. 
A little bit since has taken the environmental responsibilities very seriously and has already made substantial progress in this investigation in cleanup of the past contamination. Brand culture. Harley Davidson is a very rich brand culture. Harley Davidson attracts a loyal brand community with the licensing of the Harley Davidson logo, accounting for almost 5% of the company net revenue. Origin of the HOG nickname. <coughs> Beginning in 1920, a team of farm boys who became known as the Hog Boys consistently won races. The group had a live hog as their mascot. Uh, following a win, they would put the hog on the Harley and put up and take a victory lap. In 1983, the motor company formed a club for the owners of its product, taking advantage of the long standing nickname by turning HOG to acronym Capital HOG. On August 15, 2006, Harley Davidson has its NYSE ticker symbol changed from HDI to HOG. Continuing with brand culture, let's discuss uh, some brief. Of HOG. Harley Davidson established the Harley Owners Group HOG in 1983 to build up the loyalty of the Harley Davidson enthusiasts as the means to promote a lifestyle along its products. In 1991, HOG were international with the first official European HOG rally in Chilatham, England. Today, more than 1 million members and more than 1400 chapters worldwide make HOG the largest factory sponsor motorcycle organization in the world. HOG benefits include organized group rides, exclusive products and product discounts, insurance discounts and the HOG Tales newsletter. In 2008, HOG celebrates its 25th anniversary in conjunction with the holidays 1 of 5 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Now, continue with the brand culture, factory tours and museums. Harley Davidson of a practice Factory tours at the four of its manufacturing sites and Harley Davidson Museum, which opened in 2008, exhibits Harley Davidson history, culture, and vehicles, including the motor company's corporate archives. Now, let's uh, some discuss about something manufacturing sites and museum. York, Pennsylvania, vehicle operations, manufacturing site for the touring class, software, and custom vehicles. Next is Tomahawk and Consent. Tomahawk operations, facility that makes sidecars, saddle bags, windshields, and more. Kansas City, Missouri, vehicle and powertrain operations, manufacturing site of the sports store, VRSC, and other vehicles. Menomomini, Falls, Wisconsin, Pilgrim Road powertrain operations plant, two types of towers. Milkaukee, Wisconsin, Harley Davidson Museum, Archive, exhibits of people, products, culture, and history, restaurants and cafe, and museum store. Uh, and last, will about anniversary celebrations of the Harley Davidson Cup. It's really huge celebration every time they celebrate. Beginning with the Harley Davidson 90th anniversary in 1993, Harley Davidson has had celebrated rides to Milwaukee called the Ride Home. This new tradition has continued every five years and is referred to the unofficially the Harley Fest. This event brings Harley's riders from all over the world. The 105th anniversary celebration was held on August 28. 30, 30, uh, 20 to 31 2008 and included events in Milwaukee, Washaka, Racine and various other countries in South Southeast Wisconsin. The 110th anniversary celebration was held on August 29 to 31 2013. And so that was it about the company. Uh, thanks.